Now they took away my tripod, so I can't carry it with me. Now it's my head to carry my camera. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we finally got in, so we're gonna go and explore the palace. Um, today's actually kind of busy, even though it's off season. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a lot of tourists here too, but we are here too. So where should we start? Where do you want to go? Let's just go to the place where there's no one there. Yeah. We are outside of the palace now. We got through pretty quickly because there was just too much people and we didn't want to wait and like be all clustered inside. And now we're outside and we're in the garden area. It's actually pretty rainy today. <laughs> not the best day to come out here. So I'm not vlogging as much as I would like to because I don't want my camera to get wet. But the view is still nice. I would imagine that in the summer it would look so beautiful outside. But since it's rainy, um, it still looks nice but I, it's not as nice as it could be. <laughs> so we're on our way to go to the Eiffel Tower and from the view over here it is the river. I don't know what it is but it's the river that all the cruises go on. We're also, um, we also have a great view of the Eiffel Tower. From where I'm at, I can see the Eiffel Tower from a distance. And it looks pretty nice from far. It's another cloudy day, but that's not gonna stop us from doing all the things that we wanna do. <laughs> we don't have that much time, cause tomorrow we're leaving. Top of the Eiffel Tower now. 
we just got up and we had to buy our ticket to the elevator. It's really cold up here. It's like windy and it's cloudy and rainy. <laughs> but the view up here is still pretty. But it's so cloudy to the point that like it just looks kind of depressing as you steer away far into the background. apartment to rest for a bit it is 6 p.m. right now so we're gonna go outside do some shopping before we leave tomorrow morning and then we'll also go out and eat this is gonna be our last dinner in Paris and I decided to order a lamb it's humongous and it looks delicious and then my sister got steak medium rare some potatoes and it looks like some kind of salad yeah we're ready to eat now yeah go Gosh, it was so windy outside. My hair was like whoosh, in the wind, and my neck was so cold, even though I was wearing my scarf. But yeah, we decided to go eat Korean barbecue after our first dinner because we were like, why not? Why don't we just eat two dinners tonight because it's our last day in Paris? We also did some little shopping before we went to eat Korean barbecue, and I'll show you guys all the things that I bought in Paris. Most of my money went towards experiencing things instead of actually buying things and souvenirs. I'll record that like mini haul right after. After I okay, I'll down. show you guys all the things that I bought while I was in Paris and to start out with I went to the grocery store and bought some candies and wine I got this wine called La Vorera <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it correctly this wine is best paired with red meat and seasoned cheeses um, this is not for me it's actually a gift so that's the reason why I got it. It is Kinder Chocolate. There's 24 pieces in here. I got these just to try and to give away. And then I got some chocolate. And it has three bars in here. And it's in the same brand as the grocery store that I went to. It's This is the grocery store. And then at Disneyland, of course, we had to purchase some headbands. A lot of the girls wore this headband because it's really popular and I like it. It's cute. It was around like $13. I thought it was going to be more expensive but it wasn't so I decided to get it because why not? Yeah, I also got two keychains from their gift shop. Um, the first one, I decided to get the cashmere cat from Alice in Wonderland and then I also got Captain America. Really adorable. And it's like a rosy pink. I like it. It's really deep. We also stopped by this store that's near our apartment and it's called Cameroon. Cameroon. I don't know. But anyways, they had a lot of things on sale and for a good deal. So I decided to purchase two items from there. First item is a pair of lace flats and it was 50% off. I got it for around $10. Yeah, it's like a neutral color. And it's pretty cute, that's why I decided to get it. And this is in the size 37 because I'm a size 6 in the US. And the biggest purchase of all is this ooh, ooh, trench coat. I decided to get one because why not? It was on sale. I bought it for like around um, $27. 
because it's also half off. It was originally 55 bucks, and it's good quality. And I think that I could wear this in the spring when it's warmer because back at home it's still winter. Okay, so that's all that I purchased from my Paris trip, and maybe I'll buy some more souvenirs when I go to the airport tomorrow. Good night, and that's the end of my vlog for today. It is 10 a.m. in the morning, and we are leaving. We're gonna head to the airport catch the train there and then be on our way to our flight it's about a 10 hour ride back home see you guys next time